Hey guys, Chaotic Singularity here. Here is my next Modern Warfare 3 video that I'm going to show you guys, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Uh, I got some it's some pretty interesting gameplay. I believe I went 26 and 4 here, so it's not too bad. Uh, hopefully my voice will sound a little better now that I have um, set up my Turtle Beach headset. So hopefully I will. Uh, sound better for you guys and you'll like it other than my other mic which was kind of crackly and stuff like that so this video is about me kinda telling me how much I like and dislike this game kinda like my in opinion review something like that and I like to do these at the beginning of when I do uh, commentaries about them I know my last my last commentary was me talking about the new YouTube update, but I'm gonna do this one. Uh, this was supposed to be my first video that I was gonna put before the YouTube update, but I thought at the time that maybe putting that one up first would make a lot more sense. So, I've only uh, played around 16 hours total uh, game time, so I'm not too familiar with the maps and stuff like that, but I kinda know what I'm doing because I've, I've played pretty much all the other Call of Duties. I, I own up to number f three, so I am. I, you could say I'm a pretty big uh, Call of Duty fan, but this game kind of made me a less type of fan, if that makes sense. Because I don't know, just it's kind of a repeat of Modern Warfare uh, 2, as you guys probably already know, but different things inside, and that's what I'm going to talk talk about. So uh, I haven't really played the campaign, so I'm hoping to play it later on when I get through my Skyrim type of games. Uh, Skyrim quests and stuff because I really enjoy that and there's a lot of hours into it so I'll probably finish the campaign later on I might do a walkthrough if you guys want to just to get some more content out there because I haven't really been putting out too much so they've been sticking to the 60 frames per second which I do like uh, I like having my uh, fast paced shooters very uh, smooth and accurate when I play them uh, this game has, uh, which is nice, a lot more guns, a lot, a lot of new guns, because I'm really glad that they didn't really necessarily copy Modern Warfare 2 completely. Like that would have been really dumb if they put a lot of the same guns. They have maybe seven or eight of the same guns, but mostly all the other ones are pretty different, and I, I really like that. So the gun I'm using right now is, I believe, the Type 95, and it's a three-shot burst, and People say it's a really overpowered gun, and uh, I think actually it's it's I, I in my opinion it's a it's a pretty overpowered gun there, but it's it's usually a one burst hit if you get all three shots on them, and but it really isn't because when you're seeing the guy you, they're usually moving, so that kind of it's usually a two shot burst. Uh, the, I love the new perks in this game. There's not really that many. But the ones that are new are uh, they're pretty pretty good. They they didn't make anything in this game really 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 overpowered. Unlike Black Ops and stuff like that with the Galil and stuff like the Silence Galil. But most of the guns and all of that is all balanced, which is nice. I, uh, having a balanced game is really good, and I I really give them respect that they did that. Uh, I love the the new kill streaks and how they uh, you set them up. Like having your kill streaks, point streaks, and even perk streaks uh, are just really awesome and really fun to play with. Um, the maps are very well laid out. Uh, I, I find the Black Ops maps a little bit better, but having uh, just like this map here, Dome, it's really it's pre it's the smallest one I believe, and it's lots of hiding stuff kind of like, it's not like Nuketown, but it's kind of the same uh, size as Nuketown, so there's always nice to have a couple small maps into uh, into the thing, so I think that it was actually a pretty sweet stick that I got, and uh, ho hopefully you guys saw that. <laughs> um, obviously Spec Ops has returned, and I haven't really played it. But I've heard people that you know on my friends list and stuff like that have 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 played it, and they say it's really awesome. The videos I've seen on YouTube and stuff like that, and the Spec Ops trailer, the survival trailer, I actually l looked at it and it looked really fun. 
So hopefully I'll be uh, able to play that pretty soon. I oh, almost got a, a triple triple spray there. Too bad. <laughs> Something I don't really like in this is, well, as a lot of Call of Duty games and a lot of people that don't really like it is there's no dedicated servers. But dedicated servers do have their fallbacks too, like um, and when like Battlefield 3 first released, it was really laggy and it was like impossible to get into games and stuff like that. So I in this when this game released, it was it was into a game just like that. So sometimes host games are good too. Uh, my next video I'm gonna post is gonna be another uh, Modern Warfare 3 video, but this one is gonna be definitely worth watching. It's uh, almost one of my best games I've ever played. I went 41-3, and three, and it's a TDM. So, uh, here you go, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, please remember to rate, comment, uh, favorite, and subscribe, because that means a lot to me and will help me out a lot. And yeah, So, uh, I'll talk to you guys later, and thanks again for watching.